Well, how about there today? I haven't been outside yet today. A little bit. Uh, okay. No. It's nice to drop it up here. Keep it like four. Uh, okay. You can sit on the table, whatever. Whatever. It's good. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Can I use a There we go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get my best side. It's fine. Right. No problem. <laughs> I am, I'm Daryl Myrick, I'm retired assistant chief. I respond, I work directly for the chief, and that's my only responsibility is to him. This inter investigation will be um, interviews and collection of facts that I respond to the chief. I give the chief exactly what I've found. He makes decisions and determinations on exactly, on exactly what, um, what his decision is, okay? So I am collector of evidence, collector of information, handed over to the chief and his decision is, uh, is what we go with, okay? And um, since I am retired, I, I answer only to him. Okay. okay, so that's that's my position. Ron is the sector bureau lieutenant. Um, been with us twenty years. Mm -hmm. Twenty years. So thereabouts. Yeah, we got a couple years. And the only important factors in any investigation is the truth. I get to the truth. The truth makes us look good, makes us look bad. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We get to the truth, and we deal with that. Okay. So why don't you start, just kind of give us an overview of what what you did, what you saw, and your impressions thereof. Okay, well, it was, uh, I don't even remember the date, I wrote it down, but yeah. uh, was, it, uh, was it May or? I didn't get to go over it before I came in. The dates are really not that important, oh, okay. but it's a 7, 8, 08. July 8th. July 8th. Okay. okay. And so I was uh, going to go into the Catholic bookstore there on Glendora Avenue, and mm -hmm. I pulled in on Glendora Avenue into the parking lot, and then I saw a, uh, a uniformed officer with a bald head, shaved head, mm -hmm. push down a little kid, you know. And uh, that obviously caught my attention, so I uh, had, at that point, I was in the little strip mall, so I stopped, and I got out my little camera and started videotaping and then there were several people surrounding the there's three boys hispanic boys mm -hmm. look young like 14 15 like that and then uh so i started filming you know just did what's going on it doesn't now as i wrote in my report i'm not judging the entirety of that what i saw i'm judging just what i saw i don't know what happened before this is what caught your attention right yeah and uh, not judging that in itself but uh, and then uh so then there's a bunch of plain clothes uh, guys in suits mm -hmm. and uh, one of them eventually he uh, turned around and saw me filming then he went to his SUV and then he walked over to me so I started filming and walking over to me you know, I rolled up my windows and locked my doors I don't know who the guy was and kept filming and then he said uh, to the effect that you want to come over and take some pictures of us and get up close to us and film us I said no I'm fine I kept filming <laughs> And then uh, he said, well, your car is so filthy, I didn't think you could see out the windows. I said, what's your name? He said, what's your name? I said, none of your business. <laughs> so, and I said, none of your business. He turned on his heels, walked around in front of my car, looked at my license plate, noted it. And then he walked over to his partners and whispered in their ear, and they all looked over. I kept filming and, and uh, parked my car and got out. I didn't go near them. I went to where, by where I was going. And just took some more pictures and before I knew it, everybody was gone, including the boys and all the cops. But I wrote down all the cop car numbers that I saw and I got pictures, um, some of which I put on disc. I'm not sure if the, I'm not sure if the video I took came out on this disc, but there's uh, plenty of pictures here, okay. and including the picture of the cop who uh, pushed the boy. There's a couple with him. He's a black uniform. Okay. Yeah, that's, it's, his identity is not a doubt. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, not, not, not Tedesco, the other one I'm talking yes. about. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to give it? Yeah, you, I mean, oh, for, there are actually two of them. I'm not a computer expert, so I'm not sure. If, <laughs> Neither uh, am I, so I'll have a hard time figuring out how to do it. But, but I, at least a lot, some of them I checked are on there. So, <coughs> uh, and then. Uh, do you have a video with the officer's statements on there? Uh, no, not on this one. No, I, I wasn't able to put that on there. But there, there was a video of him uh, walking over to me. To but do you have a video of the conversation between you two? No, no, it was actually a, uh, it was actually a uh, digital camera with video without audio, you know. But I, oh, I, okay. I presume that he already gave his side of the story, in which case he wouldn't, he certainly wouldn't deny what he said to me, you know. So, uh, it's been several months, I'm sure he's been questioned up to this point. He either denied it and, or, or not, you know, I don't think he can deny it since he saw it in a camera, you know. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, and, and then so that's about it. Okay. And everybody left. Oh, since, since that time, I had a, an acquaintance I know named Eric. He, he actually told me that he called the West Covina PD and asked them about this incident. He heard about it. And uh, he said that the West Covina PD told him that he came up to me because I was considered a suspect with the boys. And so oh. This is basically a complete outsider calling your station, and then the station told him something that's, well, that's I don't think the station should do that. Cause well, was that recently? That was that was a that was right after it happened. Within probably a week or two, when it happened. So. Without having been part of that conversation, mm -hmm. I can say without a doubt that was the case, because a lot of times we are tasked with multitasking. Mm -hmm. way to put it. And if someone such as yourself comes up to film or watch us in our job, mm -hmm. that's a no issue to us. Mm -hmm. However, if we don't know who that person is, meaning are you part of this group? Are you not part of this group? Were you the person you're supposed to meet? All those different things. Mm -hmm that comes about but not you're a suspect because we had no way of knowing that without speaking with you and like you know right. at, at more late from what you told us right now mm -hmm. so i appreciate your friend calling and we never we have no problem with anyone calling mm -hmm. you know ask us questions because that's what we do we're we work for the public so right. that's not the case at all so yeah and the boys the boys were all 18 they were all on probation they're all words of the court okay, okay. oh they, they're all over 18. They're all over oh, okay 18. so that was but you know i and that you has no, know that. yeah, you yeah, there's no way for you to know that, right? Um, and there, there are some extenuating circumstances, but uh, it's not not significant. Mm -hmm. So, the one guy told me that they were suspected of smoking marijuana when I came in to be talked yeah. to him that day. They yeah, were, they were smoking dope uh -huh. in public view, and uh, they they called for a unit to come and talk to him uh -huh. as they were at a meeting, and they left before the unit got there. And then the unit left, of course, and then they come back and smoke some more, some more dope. And so they went out and actually stopped them. Mm -hmm. One of the guys tried to walk away, and that was the one that uh, the officer had to grab and, and bring back. Mm -hmm. He's the one that had had marijuana on him. He's on probation and was cited for marijuana. Mm -hmm. So okay. just just to give you an idea of the background right. of what was okay. going on, okay, because you know, little bits of information sometimes are, are misleading. But you right, know, right, right. That's, that's why I told you I didn't judge the, that what oh, yeah. I saw until yeah, right. which is exactly the way it should be done. Right. Just like I will not judge any of this, and the chief won't judge any of this until he reads the entire incident mm -hmm. and with all the evidence and facts that we have to present to him. Okay, the officer, um, just, you know, from what you said, you know, it's pretty obvious, but I need to ask the questions. Did the officer have his gun out at any, way, at any time, or did he have his hand on his gun? No, I didn't okay. even see if he had a gun. Okay. Um, did he demand that you stop? Videoing? Did he ask you to stop videoing? Did he tell you if you didn't stop videoing, something would happen? No. He just. It was just. He just asked the questions in in a, from what you're saying, more sarcastic manner. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll read to you here, save your eyes. 